Anyways, you should be able to take gym leader here. Hurry up and go make the challenge. Oh, we will. We will. But first, but first, we're going to heal up. That's what we need to do. We need to heal up. And then, then, we're going to check out the library. Then, we'll go say hi to the gym number six. Because why not? We have plenty of time. We have plenty of time. We get a six gym out of the way? Yeah, that sounds fantastic. Cantaloupe City. Let's go check out these books. Or actually, do I need... I think I might need to beat the gym first to trigger the events that we need to trigger. That might be it. Yeah, I think so. The book titled Sinnoh's Region Mythology. Yeah. Uh, the Sinnoh Region Mythology. Long ago. When Sinnoh has just been made, Pokemon and humans led separate lives. That is not to say that they did not help each other. No, they did indeed. They supplied each other with goods and supported each other. A Pokemon's proposed to the others to always be ready to help humans. I ask that Pokemon be ready to appear before humans always. Thus, to this day, Pokemon appear to us if we venture into tall grass. The Sinnoh Myth Sinnoh myth, betray not your anger. Le at least, blah, 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 will come. Weep not with sorrow, or blah, 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 will draw near. When joy and enjoyment come natural as the very air that is happiness, such let such be blessed by the hand of master, blah, blah, blah. Those words were spoken often as customary. Got two more bookshelves here. Ah, uh, Sinnoh's myth. Sinnoh myth. Three Pokemon were there were. Into the lakes they dove, deep, deep, drawing into breath. Deeper, deeper they dove, into suffocating depths they adore. Deeper than deepest they eyed, uh, from the lake floor they rise. Bearing with them the power to make vast lands, they rise again. And then one more shelf. Uh, Veilstone's myth. A young man. Callow and foolish in innocence came to own a sword. With it, he smote Pokemon, which gave sustenance with carefree abandon. Those not taken as food, he discarded with no afterthought. The following year, no Pokemon appeared. Leaders grew bare. Keep reading? Yeah, sure. The young man, seeking the missing Pokemon, journeyed afar. Long did he search, and far and wide, too, until one he did find. He asked he, Why did you hide? To which the Pokemon replied, If you bear your soul to bring harm upon us with claws and fangs, we will exact a tell. From your kind, we will take our, our toll, for it must be done. Done it be to God ourselves, and for it, I apologize. Uh, you know what? That's enough story. Now I wonder, is the one book here on these shelves horrific myth nah no oh wait this might be it is it cinefolk story three <laughs> yes yes it is <laughs> there once were pokemon that became very close to humans there once were humans and pokemon that ate together at the same table it was a time when there existed no differences to distinguish the two. Oh, that ain't the book maybe it was book number two there lived Pokemon in a forest. In the forest, the Pokemon shed its hide to sleep as a human. Awaken the Pokemon dawns, the Pokemon hide to roam villages. Is it book number one? Uh? Pick clean the bones of Pokemon caught in the sea or stream. Thank them the meals they provide to pick their bones together when the bones are clean as be. No, these ain't the books. Oh, well. Oh, well. If you know the book, you know the book. If you know the book, you know the book. It's one of these books. I just know it. But okay. Let's continue on. It seems like now we can go say hi to the next gym. If we want. I don't think we can fish at all here in Cantaloupe City. Oh, we can off of this dock, right? If we really want a fishing encounter. But I say not right now. I think we have this particular gym here. Brian. Brian. Good old Brian's gym. Uh, well, we haven't done anything else here. What is in this house? Harbor Inn? Oh, no, no, we don't need to do anything else. Yeah, or is it Bryson? I want to say it's actually Bryson, right? 
No, it was Brian. 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 Well, I I think our team's still on par with Brian. So let's go check out his gym since it's just like that. Yo there, champ to be. Gym layer is steel type. Steel type, high defense, blah, blah, blah. Well, normally he's all about steel, but instead, he has us. So, and his randomize. So let's see, uh, let's let's scout out some trainers here and see where the levels are at. Only one mod, Florentino? With a Kecleon. Okay, okay. Out here with some color changing. Level 33. All right, we're fine. We're, we're still on par. And you have the Slash. Uh, so let's just do some hypnosis first. There you go. Make you a little bit of that sleepy sheepies. Nothing wrong with being a sleepy in the sheepies. Yeah, there you go. Just take a nice long rest, Kickleon. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. Don't worry about a thing. You don't have to worry about a single thing. That did nothing. Maybe Edbud will be a little better. I don't know. I really don't know. All right. Let's go ahead, bud. You know, funny enough. As a kid growing up, when Pokemon were asleep, I always, I always thought when like Pokemon were asleep, like what just happened here is that if you use moves to physically attack them, no, sleep, no. With Sleepy gone, we just got a Probo Pass. Nasal's gone too. I was going to say, like, if you hit a Pokemon with sleep with, like, a physical attack, that that gives a higher chance for them to wake up. But it that's not how it works. But it's just a randomized amount of turns. <sighs> so now we're going to just spend the rest of the time probably just doing a bit of grinding. Because now either we're going to take Flappy and Seed or Cusco and Water Free. I'm probably going to take Water Free. Uh, we have a Kecleon here that's currently normal type. So let's let's go sack. Do the fake out, guaranteed Dimaggio. That crit mattered. It is very sad. It's very sad indeed. Do your arm thrusting. Oh, you have Shadow Sneak. Okay. There we go. Oh, and then, oh, okay. Well, that makes sense. We probably should just battle throw then, but it don't matter. With that crit of our own, the Kecleon goes down. The so sack gain some experience. There you go, level 32. And sack wants to learn Force Palm. Ooh, that's a good move. That's a very good move. Force palm, uh, the foe is attacked with a shockwave and all may also lead the target paralyzed. And you have smelling salt! So, is, your, is this a physical move? It is. So, it's time to get rid of arm thrust. We don't need arm thrust anymore. None. We have a much better move. So now, if we ever get the paralysis and we can smell salt, that is awesome. Especially now that we lost our paralysis man. With our Probo Pass. This is sad. Sad times. And that was just the first trainer in this gym. <sighs> just couldn't be. Couldn't stream this stuff for free. <laughs> That's okay. Okay. Well, let's go box. Sleeping and nasal. Water free. Uh, yeah, we're going to take you. We'll take you and... Yeah, and Cusco. I think I'll be better than Barkley and Lamp. As well as Abram C and Flappy. But that's another normal type to our team. That is, but... We have to do it, though. 
All right, well, let's change the layout. And then we're going to need to work on these two. I hit Mon Lee. I don't know why we're saying up the rain. Never mind! High jump kick lands! Oh. Run away! So, never mind. Don't need Cusco. Don't need Water Free. You're dead too, Cusco.
Okay, can we get a Pokemon here? I think we can. Yes, Trophy Garden. All right, here we go. Trophy Garden encounter is a... A Spearow. Let's see if we can get it in a quick ball. Two wings? Absolutely. Yo, Nick, glad to see you out here. How we doing? Two. Boom! There we go. Got the spear on the quick ball. Let's go with Ty. T-A-I. Boom! Ty the Spearow. To kick things off with our team recap tonight is the said pair that I took some time to work on. And the beginning, uh, the first half of our dynamic duo is Lamp, our Motham. Uh, last time you guys saw him, he was about like level 10. Got him up to level 32. Uh, is serious in nature. Very, very serious. We uh, hatched the Lamp out of an egg. Oh my god, she's growing up so fast. Wait, you're serious now in nature? For some reason, my notes say that you're careful. Well, that's wrong. You're not careful. You're serious. Oh, why? So serious. So that means it is a neutral nature across the board. So those numbers are just raw, fresh numbers for Lamp. Uh, Lamp has the ability to swarm and knows Gust, Poison Powder, Hidden Power, and Psybeam. So Lamp has definitely learned some moves along the way. So Lamp's starting to improve. Glad to see that. And then Limp's, Limp, no, Lamp's, Lamp's best friend forever is Barkley, our Snover. Barkley here. Last time we seen him was about level 23. Now he is level 31. Uh, he is rash in nature. I guess I forgot to update the slots there. Uh, which means when he is rash, when he's, when he has a rash, probably in a particular place that he wouldn't like, uh, that means he gets a boost in special attack, but a decrease in special defense. Uh, so, honestly, that's not too bad for Barkley. Though, uh, that makes him more like a well-rounded attacker, you know, um, with the boost in special attack. It, his numbers are very identical to his physical stuff, so got that going for you. And a lot of Snowbirds, they have Snow Warning like our Barkley. Where it basically just causes hail when it comes out onto the field. And knows Icy Wind, Grass Whistle, and Grain, and Ice Shard. Alright, the next pairing we have on our team is Sack and Pop. Sack here, our Hariyama, is hasty in nature. So that means Sack has a boost in special defense, but a decrease in physical defense, has the ability of thick fat, and knows spelling salt, force palm, vital throw, and fake out. And then Puck, the other link to uh, Hariyama. Uh, Puck here is relaxed in nature, so a boost in physical defense, but a decrease in special defense, the opposite nature as our sack. Um, but so Puck, has the ability to run away very smooth and knows quick attack sucker punch crunch and hyper fang then the final dynamic duo uh the well the we have more du duos here so like i guess half of a dynamic quadruo something like that uh is cliff and wings cliff here is bold in nature so a boost in physical defense but a decrease in physical attack uh, has the ability of Magic Guard and knows Sing, Moonlight, Metronome, and Magical Leaf. Then our final member, Wings, our Tauros, is lonely in nature. The best nature to be for Tauros, especially with the ability to intimidate, because he gets a boost in physical attack, but a decrease in physical defense. Though with intimidate, lowering our opponent's attack stat when Wings comes onto the field. Uh, you know, it kind of balances out his nature, so. And Wings knows Horn Attack Surf, because apparently, you know, these cows can swim. Who would have thought? Who would have thought? Can, like, swim and cause a tidal wave or something with Surf. Uh, Pursuit and Zen Headbutt. And that is our crew to kick things off tonight. But yeah, but yeah, like I said, we're going to do a little bit of meandering around. Do a little bit of kind of like a side quest thing. 
and then we'll say hi to uh what what's your name i forget i forget the six gym leaders name because he's particularly not a gym leader that we're familiar with but uh apparently we're still at heart home oopsies doopsies forgot to travel back to uh the other town so we can do that and spend some time spend some time traveling along uh let's check out the map because i kind of forget how to get to said place though it shouldn't be too far really should i ask uh heart home and then we we could go to the through the mount Cornette to get to orberg and then to jubilee and to the cantaloupe city since uh we don't have a flying type member on our team we can't particularly fly there uh, so instead of traveling by bike, how about we just, uh, speed things up a little and we'll just bust out our old, our, we'll dig up old pal Ruffle's grave and just ride on the corpse of Ruffle. That seems fine. That's fine. You know, is that disrespectful? Uh, I don't know. To some people, that might just be using resources. You know, maybe. Barkley, just for now, just for a moment, you're going to just sit at the grave site, you know, you you watch over that that uh, grave just in case somebody comes by and is like, "Hey, man, what? Why are you standing next to the hole? Shouldn't you, uh, shouldn't there be like a body or something in there? And you could just like chill and just be like, I don't know what you're talking about, bro. All right, cantaloupes. Let's go to the cantaloupes. Cantaloupe, cantaloupe. There we go. Thank you, thank you, Ruffle. Really do appreciate. I don't know how you managed to do it when you're uh, an uh, unresponsive corpse. But I really do appreciate that you can somehow still fly free night. Uh, let's see, move our mount. Barclay, come back to our crew. Get our ruffle, the Pidgeot, back in the box. Oh, wait, Ty. Ty, you're not dead. You're not dead at all. You get to go into the box, the first box. You need a friend, though. We can't use you yet until you get a friend. Which soon you will. Soon you will have a friend. Which then we can have a flyer on our team if we really want to. Just depending on what the matchups are. Now there's supposed to be a particular house or something that'll take us. That we have to talk to in order to get to Iron Island. I kind of forget. Maybe it's this house right up here. This is it Harbor Inn. Yeah, maybe it's Harbor Inn. Uh, no, apparently uh, the door is locked. So maybe it's this house right here. Maybe. Uh, um, who did you say I was again? Oh yes, I remember now. I'm the move leader. Um, no, no, no. We don't need to delete any moves. Our team is just fine. Wait, is the end? Isn't that the house we have to go to? Or I'm not particularly sure. At least there's two sides. Hello, traders. Something I found. It was mixed with a load of cargo from another country. It's not anything that I can use, so I think you should take TM48. Okay, okay. Kicking things off with the TM? What is this TM? Originally it was skill swap, but now it's something else. What is TM48? I must know. Just in case, maybe if it's a move of some sort that we can use. Like a thunder shock. That's a very good move that we could use. A very good move. Lamp can learn it. And only Lamp. We just might teach Lamp that if um if there if we don't have any other options. Uh but let's see, what do you want to do? I have a feeling this is the house. Somewhere beyond the sea, there are other lands populated by Pokemon and trainers. Cool. You're not wrong. You're not wrong there. You know, um, you know, guys, like, funny enough, I do find it weird how with all the regions in the games, they really do feel separate from each other, other than, like, compared to, um, Gen 2, since Kanto and Johto are linked, and Kanto is, like, um, is, like, the post-game content for Gold and Silver. So, like, clearly they're connected. They're on the same, like, at least continent where. But then all the rest of the regions, they're in some other mysterious parts of the world. Whereas only in the anime, like, Ash travels to each of the regions. But they feel very secluded in each of the new entries. Which, I mean, obviously you just want to explore the new region and, and see all the new Pokemon and everything. But, um, 
one day I would like to see more games that like connect these regions together. Like, it's like, um, it's like, um, since Sword and Shield is based off of like England and these next ones are like based off of, I think, Spain, you know, maybe you can find some way for those two regions to be connected. I don't know. Can I hit you up for a quick interview? No. I don't want no interview. We don't have the time. Oh, well, we kind of do. We're only about like 20 minutes in. Oh, you, maybe you're the guy. Once that sail to Iron Island? Yes. Oh, look at that. That's all we have to do is just ask. Who would have thought? Oh, wait. Maybe I should buy items because... Uh, because... Uh, I don't think we have Heelys. And we're definitely going to need Heelys in order to get through Iron Island. Let's check out our bag real quick. Go to the medicine. We have one max potion. That's it. So yes, I would like to go back. We need, we need some heals. We need the medicine. It will help. It will help us go a long way. A very long way. Hopefully we have some change in our back pockets. I'm sure we do. If we don't, that would be a bit of an issue on Oh, we have $46,900 for a name. We're fat, stinky, rich. And I shall buy... We'll buy 20 hypers. And then... Full heals, we'll get 7. 7 full heals. And that should do it. You, sir! What you made particularly so? Quick balls, timer balls, and repeat balls. I will buy three timer balls. Those would be great. And then how many quick balls do we have? We have three. We'll buy two. Why? Why not? The, those are some very good balls indeed. Believe me. Because, you know, just in case we run into another, like, legendary something, then, you know, we could just pass the time. And then the timer balls could be like, yo, I'm just as strong as, like, an ultra ball now. And it's like, really? Wow. And you're so much cheaper than an ultra ball. And then it's like, now I'm slightly stronger than an ultra ball. But that's it. And it's like, well, I mean, technically that's a better chance. Even though around here we catch Palkios and Dialgas and Pokeballs. So, I mean, <laughs> is it really that necessary? You know? You know? And funny enough, going back, like, thinking about our X and Y series... Uh, we caught a Giratina there, so we caught the full, like, space trio. That's funny. That's very funny. And we found a Hyper Potion underneath this rock. Beautiful. Oh, can we heal in this bed? No, we cannot. But we can lay in it. We can lay in it. There's the TV. Good evening. It's time for the trainer research. We examine the latest Pokemon trend by going in directly to the trainers. On training research, we always seek trainers willing for interviews for the show. If you spot an interviewer anywhere, please stop by and say hello. That's all for today. See, they're waiting for me. They're waiting for me. But, you know, I only do it if it helps pursue. It helps my career. Not joke. Wait a second. Where is... There's supposed to be a guy here. Where is he? Wait a sec. So let's start exploring. We have Iron Island. And we're just waiting for our encounter. And it is going to be a... That is species. That is species right there. Because, uh, yeah, Flappy. Flappy is a hop-in that we caught. Yeah, so this is species here. And I will most certainly re-roll it. Because Flappy... Is paired with Ape MC. Yes, yes. So let's just continue uh, forward. And there is a hot, hot item right there that we can pick up. But except there's barrels in a way. And now our encounter is a... A Gorbis. Uh, well, I mean, it is a water type. It is a water type that can help us. And it's paired with... If we catch this Gorbis, it'll be paired with... Um, Ty, so... So that could help. That really could help. So let's see. Lamp, go for a gust. Don't get too crazy with your winds, Lamp. Just just, just do enough, okay? 
just do enough to this fish. See, now that's some good Dimaggio. Eat that up. Eat that up. While uh, the Gorgas is trying to set up on us, and I don't particularly like that. Oh, it's just raising special defense. That's fine. We're attacking on the physical side anyway. It's no big deal. It's no big deal. Oh, actually, no. We are attacking on the special side. Oopsie stoopsies. Uh, then let's uh, let's just go for another gust. We'll get this Gorbis in yellow, and then we can start chucking some balls. Though once again, I forgot we just bought quick balls. You know, we can just always toss them, turn to the one, and be like. Oh, wow, or uh, whatever, I guess we have that. Oh, you have Aqua Ring? Fine. Well, then let's just see what this Ultra Ball does. You know, let's see what the Ultra Balls do. Could you please get in the ball? One wiggle, two, and three. There we go. That is a real triple wiggle right there, good folks. All right, Gorbis. Thank you for being in the bowl. Thank you for joining the crew. Uh, Gorbis, the South Sea Pokemon. It lives at the bottom of the sea. In the springtime, its pink body turns more vivid for some particular reason. I like Trident. Yeah, let's go with Trident for this Gorbis. Why not? Triton. Triton. T-R-I. T-O. Triton. All right, so we got Ty and Triton as our next official pairing. So we really want to use a bird and a fish. We can do that. Which so far there are our next prime candidates in my opinion. If any, if something were to happen to anybody, 